Good morning. Well, this is a very shocking attack for uh, Ukrainians. They wake up today in shock all across the country. I'm here in uh, Kharkiv, so in the region where this attack uh, happened. It happened uh, near uh, Kupiansk in the village of Groza. To give you an idea, pre-war, this was a village that counted 330 inhabitants. At the time of the attack yesterday, there was only 100 of them uh, who were still in the village. 60 of them were gathered for that funeral. And uh, you've mentioned that terrible figure, 51 person died, including a six-year-old uh, child. We have some information on some of the victims, even if the identification will take uh, probably several days because DNA tests will have to be carried because of the state of the bodies. We have information as to some of the victims, as I said, the wife, the mother, and the son of the soldier that was being uh, buried uh, are among the victims. It's a soldier who had already been buried in the city of Dnipro, but he, his family's wish was that uh, he would be buried in his native village. And uh, yesterday, his relatives, his friends were gathered uh, uh, for the wake, and that's when the attack uh, happened. So there's three days of mourning which had been, uh, have, have been announced here in the entirety of the region where uh, people are under shock. And we're hearing reports of further attacks overnight early this morning. Emmanuel, what is the latest where you are? Absolutely. More attacks uh, against uh, several regions of Ukraine. There was another wave of kamikaze drones, uh, Shahid, uh, uh, over some of the uh, regions. And here in Kharkiv, where we are, there were explosions in the early hours in the morning. They've uh, targeted the city center. The mayor said that uh, at least nine people have been uh, injured, that there was damages uh, caused to cars, to uh, buildings. So relentless attacks from uh, Russia against Ukraine. Uh, remind uh, our viewers that Kharkiv is just 30 kilometers away from Russia, so explosions usually run even before air red alerts uh, can be uh, started, and that's exactly what happened uh, this morning in the early hours.